all right guys so in the previous videos you had seen how to play the game of flames we had traced it with an example then we saw some prerequisites i had asked you to give a try of writing a code then this videos we have to take it as a guidelines just a guidelines that's it this is not the only way by which you can do you can do it in multiple ways so please do discuss if you have another way in the discussion forum and so in the previous video i had started off by asking for input of the two person's names converting them into uniform format of all small letters i had trimmed off the spaces and now we have to see how to remove the matching letter that is a functionality we want to see so let me say i'll define this functionality here define remove matching letter right that was the functionality right so let me define it here so it had taken two parameters list 1 and list 2 it had taken two parameters so let me use it so what should i do i have to take a letter of the first list take a letter check if that letter is present anywhere in the second list if so you say there is a match and you cross out otherwise you proceed with the next letter that's what you will be doing right so for that what should we do we need to run loops so how many loops two loops because we have to match for each letter at which position in the second list you have the occurrence of that letter so we need to have two loops so let us do that so let me start my first loop for i in range so basically you are you are actually going through each and every index and checking the element right so i have to find the i have to check through till you reach the length of the string so range you have to give the end value plus 1 right basically so i want to go till the end of the string basically end of the string is nothing but length minus 1 that is the index of the end so length minus 1 plus 1 that is nothing but length we have to stop at this i guess you are familiar with this just that why we are giving it as length i was giving an explanation that's it length of this list you have to pass that is for that many number of iterations that is for that many number of letters you want to make a check right so iterate it over the first list the same like that you iterate it over the second list for j in range length of the list l2 okay so what should you check if the letters are matching so how would you check it you have to use it by by indexing right so the name of the list followed by square brackets in within the square brackets you need to give the index so we we'll do the check now if the list 1 at the position i at the index i and the list 2 at index j contains the same letters that is checked by equal to operator double equal to operator which checks the equality if they both are equal then you capture that letter that is your common letter you have to capture it common letter that's why i have used the letter c c for common common letter you can use l1 of i or l2 of j because both are equal right both the values are equal so you can use anything here and now you have to remove that element from the list so that's what we, we'll cross out right in a paper we'll cross out but in computer how do you cross out so crossing out is nothing but removing it from the list that's what we will be doing it so let me remove l1 dot remove is the functionality remove this element c from the list and l2 dot remove the element the same element c all right so now we'll have to find uh, once that letter is removed whatever is the string you need to uh, have it and you need to do it for both um, you have um, two strings modified right so let me concatenate it you will understand why soon let me concatenate the two strings mo two modified strings let me make a new list l by saying l1 plus i'm concatenating another list i'll use a dummy character say star then i'll concatenate this list l2 why am i creating this concatenated list you will come to know very soon this is just one way it's not the only way you can do it in any way this is my way of doing that's it it's not the the way of doing it's just one way of doing it okay so this is my list and now here i have found a match at some letter so i have removed that letter and i have a new strings and in between the new string i'm using star as the uh, marker sort of a thing so this particular first person name has ended and this is the name of the second person so i am using a marker right so 
I'll have to return that. I'll have to return that I have found a matching letter. So remove matching letter is the functionality, right? So I have found a matching letter and I have removed it. So you have to say that and you have to return that value to the call function. So I will return a list. Say inside that list, I'll pass this concatenated list and I'll say true. I can pass any values, right? I can pass numbers, floating point values, characters, boolean values, anything I can pass, right? So I'll say I have true that I have found the matching letter. I have removed it and this is the list you get after removing the matching letter. So you are concatenating it. So you will run this loop for all the things, right? So the very first time when you find a match, you remove that letter and return that list. That's it. In case you run through the loop completely and you still didn't find the match, what happens? It will come to the end of the loop, right? At this point. So in that case, you didn't find a matching letter. So in that case, what should you do? You should return. I'll say same like that you uh, generate this list. This has to be done because this is done inside the loop, right? In case you came out of the loop, this would never be executed and you need to do that. So let me copy this line because I want to repeat it again. So let me say. I have created a concatenated list. I will return the concatenated list and I will say false. That is, this is the concatenated list. But in these two um, items, I haven't found a matching character. That's why you are returning false. So this is how you do. So basically, you run through the loop. You check for each letter, whether that letter is present in the next list anywhere. If it is present, you remove that matching letter and you return the concatenated list and return true. True stating that there was a matching letter and it was removed. If there is no matching letter, just you do the same concatenation process, return the concatenated list and say false, false stating that there was no matching letters. Okay. So this is how it has been uh, done. So we have been returning it. So when we have returned it, we have returned a list, right? So we need to capture a list. So let me say returned list is nothing but we are capturing it and we need to do it continuously for some um, um, till there is no matching letter so how will we come to know that there is matching letter or there is no matching letter how will we come to know that so we need to have a flag sort of thing this is what we call as flags in programming that will say whether to continue whether to proceed with something or you should stop so a sort of a flag a flag is an indicator for some it's a direction uh, sort of thing right so that that indicates that something is present here the flag indicates something like that here our flag will indicate whether there is some matching letter still present or should we still proceed or no that's it there is no matching letter you can start counting with the flames part that's the second part of our game the first part is we have to cross out all the matching letters second part is we have to uh, go go in the anti-clockwise direction of counting uh, to uh, determine what is the relationship between two people in flames in the word flames right so we'll be doing it so uh, the first part is we are removing the matching letter so the flag will say whether we can proceed towards second part or no we cannot proceed so let me use a flag for that let me say proceed let me use the same name so that it's easier on minds proceed equal to true initially we have to proceed we have to the first run we must check for matching letters and and then only we can we cannot directly start counting right we should check for matching letters and then only we can start counting so we, the first run it is always true and as long as the proceed is true you keep checking for the matching letters i'll have to indent it now okay as long as it is it says proceed you keep checking so the return list contains two information one is the concatenated list and the other is whether you can proceed or not that is one letter has been removed and you can proceed or there is no more matching letters there is no need to proceed it returns whether we have to proceed further or not right so it's returning two information so we have to extract that out from this returned list so concatenated list is what i want to make i want to extract out from the returned list so that is present as the first element of the list. The first element of our list is the concatenated list. So I am removing it. Return list. Return list of 0. 0 is the index by which you access the first element. 
right remember that array the list indexing starts from zero the counting starts from zero please remember this okay so i have taken the concatenated list and now the second part of the list is whether should i proceed or not so it will say i have to proceed is nothing or not so proceed is nothing but it is present in the concatenated list second position that is index 1 so i have taken the concatenated list and proceed and in this concatenated list concatenated list consists of the two names concatenated and there is a star in between right see we have, that's how we have concatenated we had taken the name we had removed that common letter taken that name appended a star then we had taken the second name right that's how we have it so the star marks is a marker that the first string has completed and after this whatever comes is the second string right so star is a marker so we have to find where is this particular index where the star is present so where is the star present we have to find and at that place we have to split we have to slice this list so this is where that list slicing what we had seen come into play so we'll be slicing the list here so let me say star index star index is nothing but concatenated list and this concatenated list what is the index of the element star so that's what i'm going to check this is what i'm going to call as star index and now i'm going to extract out the lists again so l1 is the name of the first person in the list format that is present before star right so you have to start from the first index and when you re encounter the star you should stop you should not include the star you should include everything before star so what should be the end index whatever is the place where star is present right so please give a minute time here think why am i doing this you will understand um, if you give some time that that's where the logical thinking is I, I don't want the star the function behaves in such a way that whatever i give as an end index that will be ignored so as i had said we have to give a start index and end index plus one so if you give just end index it will ignore that end index as well so i want to give plus one so i don't want star i want star to be ignored that's why i'll give star index as my end index start index i don't need to give i want it from the beginning so the default value let it be taken and i'll just give the end index so i'll do it from concatenated list you have to perform the slicing operation no need to give the start index because i want it from the beginning the default value and i have to ignore the value of star at this index where the star index at this point the star is present i want to ignore that point so i'll give that as my end index star index is where i want to end so whatever is there till you reach star index whatever is there that will be captured in this list l1 okay same like that what should be there in l2 A anything after star till the end so till the end i wanted so that's a default value will be taken for end index so i need not give the def value of end index but start index i should give start index but wherever i give it starts from there so should i give star index as my start index no because if I give star index as my start index, it will say star P R A I Y. I want just P R I Y. I just want the name. I don't want star here. So I should say star index plus one. The next place you should start my next slicing. So I should say star index plus one is the starting index here. Star index plus one. Till the end. End value is taken. The default value is taken. So till the end will be considered. So two slices have been made so, so this is why we had concatenated the list uh, like this is the name you wanted and this is the name you wanted this is just one way or maybe you can pass it as a list of three values as well you can think of it you can pass it as um, l1 comma l2 comma true or l1 comma l2 comma false you can do it that way as well that is a, even another way so as i have said there is no just single way by which you can do you can do it by multiple ways so this is just one way of doing it so now just read through this loop so you had taken the list of characters you had set some flag like proceed 
right you had set it to true initially because you want to check if there is matching letters or not the first instance you cannot take a risk of directly go to going to counting you should check for matching letters so let i said proceed with the checking of matching so remove the matching letter so it will loop through the lists it will loop through both the list if you find a matching letter it will remove that from the list it will concatenate it with a star in between return the concatenated list and return true if it has found a matching letter and return false otherwise there is no if there is no matching letter it will return false so from this you will understand whether to proceed with the next iteration that is we have found with the first iteration ajay and priya let us take the same example a and a it is returned so should i continue with checking for another matching letter or can i continue with counting so that is written by this proceed so, so that is extracted the concatenated list from that list we have extracted out and we had extracted the flag proceed so if it says true that is it has found one matching letter there is a possibility that there is another matching letter so we have to proceed it again if it was not uh, present if there is no matching letter present if you again check it again obviously you won't get any matching letter right so that time you can stop so that is captured in this flag proceed and this is your concatenated list and star was the separating marker in our concatenated list so based on the star index i had sliced the list into two portions and i have my list l1 and l2 ready for my next iteration i have found my one matching letter i'm trying to find another matching letter if possible so i will repeat till all matching letters are found if there is a position where there is no matching letter in that time i will say that okay this is when i have to stop there is no matching letter i have to stop so this is the part 1 of the game crossing out the matching letters next comes counting in a circular fashion and predicting the relationship in flames we'll see that in the next part of the video